all right everybody welcome back look here we got a nice beautiful 11 just a little over 11 pound spiral ham looking good got plenty of spirals in it here but we're gonna get this thing fixed up and get ready to get it smoked on the char griller i'm going fancy i'm using the gray poupon today out of the binder get that stirred up just a little bit here I'm just gonna plop it on the top that down in there and I'll just start rubbing this thing down good Gotta be fancy, you know, on these hams. But... All right, well, she's all rubbed down good. You get to change of gloves. We'll put on our rub. All right, guys. Got some brown sugar here. I'm just gonna get this thing coated up good. And it falls off, we can rub back on it. Get it all over there. Of course, this ham's already been smoked, so basically, we're just gonna twice smoke it. Get it warm back up. We're gonna let it get up to 140 degrees internal. And get ready to have a great ham. Oh yeah, there we go. Get that all packed in there. Use as much of this as we can. All right, I think she's covered up pretty good. There we go. I'm gonna go out and get the char griller fired up. I'm gonna set it to 235 today. Run a Kingsford Blue with some apple and cherry wood chunks in it. With, once it's up to temp, we'll take this out, throw it on, get ready to start smoking it good. So, we'll see you then when we're ready. All right, the char griller is fired up to 235 and holding that way for about been letting it go about 30 45 minutes somewhere around there but oh let's get ready to get this ham on here i don't know if you can see it or not but i got a water pan over here on this side and oh look how that glaze just melted into that so there we go oh today for the probe oh that's a bone Probably go with there. I'm gonna use the Inkbird IB IBBQ42, I think it is it's called. When it gets up to probably well when it gets up to 110, I'm gonna go ahead and make the glaze for it. We'll film that. And then once it reaches 130, we'll come out and get it glazed up. Might might do it a few times. But this thing's gonna be looking good guys. See you in a little bit. All right, guys, time to make the glaze to put on this ham. Uh, no, I'm not start with that. Here, we're gonna start. We're gonna make this nice and sweet. Some Steen's pure cane syrup, 100% pure cane syrup. If I can get the top off. All right, got the top off. Not sure how much we're gonna do. Maybe just a couple teaspoons full. Got some raw unfiltered honey. More sweetness for the glaze. Usually don't do it, but here's a pack of, that you're supposed to glaze it with. Put on, on the 
ham itself. I'm just going to mix it in here with this. That's a pretty good bit. We're going to pour a little brown sugar down in it. I think I'll just use that whole bag. I'm not sure how much it is, but it should be pretty sweet. get some cranapple juice. That should be good. I'm going to stir this up, get it heated up, and then put it in a bottle. When we get ready to start glazing, I'll show you how we get it done. Guys, we have been on about 2 hours and 45 minutes. It looks like we got some rain coming in. So I'm going to crank this up and get it up to 250. Get this thing cooking better. Let's see what it's looking like under here. Oh man. Yeah, I'm starting to look good. A little bit more and we'll come out. Put some, start putting the glaze on it. See when we get there. All right, everyone. If we can see here, Inkbird saying we're up to 125. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a good start on the glaze here. Mmm, things looking good. Oh, that's a nice thick glaze. Bowled it down good, simmered it, let it rest. Oh yeah. Gotta get around the back side of it here if I can. Hmm. Looking good to me. We will come back out when it hits 135 and put one more coat on it. So we'll see you folks then. All right, we have reached almost 135 degrees. Time to get some more glaze put onto this thing here before the storm gets in. So let's get this second coat on here, get through with it pretty quick, and we'll be letting it finish off. All right, the glaze has been going. But we're only up to about 136, but that's all right. We're gonna pull it off, let it rest for a few hours before these nasty storms get here, and we'll get ready to start slicing this up and have dinner. All right, everyone, welcome back. We've been letting this rest about 15, 20 minutes. Let's see, oh man, this thing's looking good. And they didn't really slice it too awful good. But let's... No wonder it's all bone. That, that one. Cut. Oh, that's fine. This one. Oh, oh this whole thing's Pull all it. bone in the front. Let's try on the side here. Yeah, there we go. Nope. There we go. Oh, right. hi. It's got a lot of bone in it. Oh, hey. Oh, hi, Papa. Right, don't worry about Whoa. him, folks. He's just having a good time. See, give Ellie a few pieces here. Look great. Nice and juicy. Mm. Tastes great. Just gotta figure out how to get this thing sliced up because this is all super fat over here. It's probably just gonna all be on the side. So, uh, if you can. Click and subscribe because yeah, just today yeah, we just passed 7,766 yeah, subscribers. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys have been killing it over the last no. few months. Much appreciated. Yeah, 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 and we'll yeah, see you yeah, next yeah. time.